Another hour to go. It sure is a beautiful day. You know, they said there's supposed to be a fabulous sunset. And the stars? They say you'll be able to see the stars. Who's they? Huh? Oh, the weather man. Yeah, I saw the forecast this morning. Ah. Have you ever been out there? Out where? I don't know, just out there, in the eastern province. Not since the war, but now it's an infantry. Why? I just wonder, you know? I was on the military. Why? See, so someplace different, I guess. You know, let's experience another culture. Culture? <laughs> you want to experience culture? Sure. I mean, don't you ever just want to Go out, get out there, and travel, experience and be new, uh, interesting people. Soldier, out there is the abyss, the void. Nothing out there but misery and savagery. Trust me, fought those people in two wars. Oh. What about the Western ones? Misery and savagery. Uh, hey, look, that old man. Ah. Here comes your culture! <laughs> Mint chocolate chip ice cream in a waffle cone? Please? Huh? Obviously some kind of trick. Some kind of evil trick. It's probably a sniper zeroing in on us right now. Or maybe you just want some ice cream cone. I know I would. I bet you would. <clears throat> no, I can't seem to remember the last time I had an ice cream cone. So what's it say? Forgive me for interrupting your afternoon. My name is Frank. I was born without a tongue in the use of my legs. Hence the index cards. <laughs> This here, he's been crawling for six days. Yeah? What's that one say? It says he's just passing through. Last way home. Just passing through, huh? Where the states, brought it? Yeah, but sorry, he's just passing through. It's not like. Oh. Obviously, it's a kind of filthy trick. Some kind of dirty trick is what it is. Think it's really. Bunch of filthy parasites anyway, swarming around through the monkey. Parasites is what they are, parasites. But sir. And you want to get to know them, is that it? You can buy them in, experience his culture, maybe, maybe take him to dinner while you're at it. But I've been at this too many years to fall for that too many years. Oh, um, what's that one say? What's he want now? He wants some, some food, some shelter. Think we're a couple of good Samaritans or something like that? You want the shirt to our backs too, will you, Eddie? No, 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 listen. Please accept my apologies. As I said, my name is Franz, and I was born in Westerlands many, many years ago. Along with me and my countrymen and women, my family and I were forced to leave our homeland many years ago. Now, as you can see, I am an old man. Yeah, we can see. I used to be a pillar of my community, but since I am unable to stand and walk upright, I found it hard to make a living to well, support my family. Isn't that sweet? Well, he seems, seems like a nice enough old man. Soldier, this man is a subversive, an undesirable, a terrorist. What's that one say? Die Western across the board. Is that it? 
Well, can't you really hear the frowns? Can't you see the signs? Says right here, suspicious individuals keep out. That be you. Bunch of filthy bird. Shifty. Shifty is what they are. But, sir, he's just an old man. But, sir, but, sir, my ass. He is an illegal. And he wants to cross our border. And what do you think? We let him go 20 yards that way. That doesn't be the end of it. He'll have his happy ending and you and I will be okay. Sir, it's only 20 yards. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Think I'm a moron, is that it? I'm just some washed up old soldier past his prime, whiling away his days at some god awful checkpoint at the edge of civilization. You know what's going on here, soldier? We are literally at the edge of civilization. Out there lies nothing but a vast abyss with more of his kind. More filthy men and women slithering around through the muck. You want to be responsible for letting one more legal in this country? Do you want your tax dollars going for that, do you? But, sir. Don't but sir me, soldier. I'm a 30 year veteran. You're lucky you can count to 30. I know these people like the zookeeper knows his animals. You gotta be on top of them, you see, because they can turn on you. They can turn on you like that. Like that. Now, is it my fault they don't want to assimilate? They don't want to put down their arms and join part of modern culture? instead of trying to uproot it? Is it my fault? I mean, why should we get too far to this old man, huh? I fought in, in two, two people, two different wars, two wars. Should I feel pity for that? Do they bother trying to assimilate? Do they bother learning our language? Do they bother learning our customs? Do they eat our wondrous fast foods? <laughs> Do they bother trying to become good citizens, good taxpayers? Do they practice our religions? No, no, they do not. Now, don't get me wrong, I've never the religious type. Bunch of hocus pocus mumbo jumbo to me anyway. But compared to their religions, blood sacrifices, sex practices, witchcraft, cannibalism. Cannibalism? Yeah, cannibalism. They got no respect for anything modern. No respect for anything decent. Now, look, I'm going to tell you like this, all right? There are good people out there, seemingly good people who will tell you it's just not true. They, uh, that they're just like you and me. That all they want is a chance. All right? They'll tell you it's just propaganda. Well, let me enlighten you, soldier. Propaganda is history. But, sir, all he wants to do is cross the border and see the sunrise from his homeland one last time. That's all. And all I want is a lap dance from Miss America. <laughs> <laughs> sir? We always get what we want, do we? Besides, suppose we let him crawl his filthy serpent's body over our border. Then what? You think he's going to go watch the sunrise and crawl his filthy ass back? Hell no. You want another illegal in our country, do you? But sir, all he wants to do is see the sunrise. He can see the sunrise from over there, can he? Besides, how you know we don't let him cross the border? He doesn't just blow us all up. That's what they do nowadays. They're clever about these things. They use women and children and filthy old men who slither around through the muck. So what are we supposed to do? We, 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 what are we supposed to do? <clears throat> now look, I know you're young and naive and you want to travel the world and experience new cultures and you want to defend your country. You want to defend your country from the void, the abyss. You want to protect your country, don't you? Yes, sir. Good, good. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Go over here. I'm going to eat my orange, okay? Okay? And uh, I want you to do what's right. I want you to do your civic duty for God and your country and your little old granny in the nursing home. I'm afraid I don't follow, sir. Well, you better start! <laughs> you better start following, son, okay? Because uh, that's what you're here for. Now, uh, if he crawls one inch, one little bitty inch over this border, I want you to shoot him. What? Shoot him? Yeah, shoot him, kill him. Sir, he, he's old. He can't stand. He has to got tongue. <laughs> What's that say? Uh -huh. It says if he's going to be shot, 
He liked an ice cream cone first. <laughs> that's it, that's it. You give me your gun. Give me your gun right now. My gun, sir? Oh, never mind. You, you, you kill him. Shoot him. Shoot him right now. Shoot him? Yeah, shoot him. Kill him. Shoot him for what? What's he done? It's not what he's done. It's what he might do. What any of them might do. Yeah, you fool. Them, them, you idiot. They're just waiting for us to turn our backs. And then bam, they'll get you. Worst thing you can do is get comfortable. Comfortable, sir? Look, I, I gave you a direct order. If you cannot or will not obey it, then you shouldn't even be wearing that uniform. You got it? Now kill him. Kill him right now. Oh, hell. We all agree tonight, all of 